Something wonderful is happening on the east coast of Florida. Called Florida's Space Coast, it used to be known for its proximity to Cape Canaveral and its world-renowned Indian River Citrus. Now, however, it could make automotive history as the home of Renaissance Cars, a company which quietly and without fanfare has been orchestrating the rebirth of the electric car. Hi, I'm Bob Beaumont. Twenty years ago, we made several thousand of these little babies, and we learned a lot. But that was then. This is now. I came to the Space Coast of Florida because I believed if we could put an electric car on the moon, we certainly could make one for this planet. My criteria was simple. I wanted to look outstanding. I wanted great performance. I wanted a logical price. And above all, we wanted to be safe. We think we're there. This is Tropica, pure and simple. Design chief Jim Muir combined a super strong, lightweight, all aluminum chassis with long lasting and durable ABS vacuum form body parts. Twelve long lasting lead based 6 volt batteries power twin DC motors in the sporty roadster for 60 to 80 miles with a top speed of 64 miles per hour. A 90 minute midday charge can give a 100 mile daily range for about 96 cents of electricity making Tropica a perfect vehicle for in-town driving and household errands. A five-pound onboard solid-state charger can be plugged into any 110-volt outlet for easy overnight charging. Tropica accelerates from 0 to 30 miles an hour in five seconds. Energy from the 792-pound battery pack flows through twin 400-amp controllers, giving infinite speeds to the direct rear-wheel drive vehicle. Goodyear low rolling resistant tires and the double wishbone suspension offer true sports car performance, making Tropica truly fun to drive. Carrying a tentative manufacturer's suggested retail of $10,895, Tropica will come in five dazzling colors and will be sold through an existing network of established new car dealers in Florida. Beaumont noted that the Tropica Roadster could appear in dealer showrooms as early as the first quarter of 1994.